everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about artificial intelligence, AI for short. So from manufacturing robots to self-driving cars, healthcare management, virtual travel, booking agents, social media monitoring, to marketing chatbots, AI is here to stay. Understandably, manufacturers are welcoming it, it because for, 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 for robots, for artificial intelligence, yes, it will cost them a lot at first, but the ongoing is only maintenance cost that it's going to take from them. Whereas on the other hand, if when they have employees, the ongoing salaries and the, the, the chance of people making errors is there. But on the other hand, you have the government who is panicking in that with when artificial intelligence comes in, then of course people will lose their jobs. On the other hand, again, you have scientists, you have high profile business people like Elon Musk trying to tell people to hold off on artificial intelligence. That is because they have a way of actually improving themselves. And the danger is that they could someday outsmart humans. And that is where the problem comes in. In this video, you are going to hear the opinions of young people where artificial intelligence is concerned. There is no going back. Artificial intelligence is here. AI is here. But how will that affect us? How will it change the way that we do things? What I want you to do is to listen to this conversation with an open mind. See if you agree with the points that they have raised. And I hope that at the end of this, this conversation that you'll be hearing, that it will help you to have a better understanding of what AI is, artificial intelligence is. Listen up, my people. This AI, um, am I concerned about it? Yes and no. I feel like with the education sector to do with like AI and a lot of kids will, will not probably do their work properly of themselves because AI is very intelligent and they format the answers for you very well and worded. And I think a lot of children will get demotivated to do a lot of stuff and it will decrease their education, I think. Also to do with that, the job sector, um, AI is going to be, I think it's already introduced into the job sectors as it is because a lot of companies are um, already like um, IT manufactured. Um, I feel like it will decrease the job, the job sector for a lot of people, especially warehouses. And I think hospitality a little bit as well, because in China, they already have a lot of hotels and restaurants that are robot um, um, lead leaded. Um, yeah. So what I would say about AI is that people will start to notice the way that AI will be taking over. One of the things that I think will make such a huge impression is that people will become very lazy with what they do so we can already see the impact of that i would say because a lot of people that use technology for doing chores etc for example everything is online now everything is digital and then after people they don't feel that motivation inside to actually get up and do it themselves even people that do their grocery they'll just order it right to their front door and i think that can become an issue because it could also increase obesity in um, especially young people that are more into technology that understand the way that it works, etc. But then on the other hand, I do also feel like AI cannot 100% completely overtake humanity because there is one thing that AI cannot have, no matter how advanced it becomes. People have a soul, people have feelings, and AI doesn't have that. And I think with a lot of things that people do, it's about the way you feel, like how, how you include your feelings and emotions into it. AI doesn't have emotions, doesn't have feelings. So I also think 
it cannot 100% take over, but I think it can have such a negative impact on the job sector. So that's one thing that I do feel like they will pick up on. And I, I'm not necessarily sure if they will let it get to that stage where people don't even have jobs. Um, right now, the system is not perfect, but if that was to happen... I think it will impact a lot of people negatively. And companies will win from that because AI is cheaper once it's developed instead of paying every month like 300,000 people. It's, it's a, lot, a lot better for companies, but I don't know if people will let it get that far to the point where people don't have jobs. So would you trust AI in a hospital? So if... If I was to go to a hospital and there was AI robots working instead of people, I do think that from one point of view, you can trust it more because everything is programmed and everything is very precise. The thing with AI is precision and it's digitally programmed, so it's the chance of the AI robot making a mistake is a lot lower than a person making a mistake. So I wouldn't say I don't trust AI in medicine particularly do you think that ai will um affect research nowadays in terms of like uh, diseases and stuff do you think that they will find the cure easier i don't think it would because i feel like it needs to be more of a human-based research when it comes to like finding diseases or any type of like herbal herbal things money like minerals stuff like that it has to i think it has to be more um, man-based whereas for AI they would it's like more so coordinates or like digi digitalizing like areas to find not really going outside of their spectre and if they was to go outside their spectre then it would be more of a concern of why did they go outside their spectre also with the hospital I wouldn't trust an AI with me only because in certain situations you need that human touch and you need you need someone to have like the the relation to you, how you're feeling and the bond. With the AI, it's more so, okay, this is what we're going to do. Do you want to do it? Yes or no? No, cool, we won't do it. There's no push. There's no really, like, um, like second chance towards it. So, yeah, I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, looking at it from that point of view, you are right, actually, because sometimes I think being in a hospital is so difficult for some people, and when you've got that person that genuinely cares and i think doctors they get into the profession a lot of the time because they care about people and they want to help so i think there's definitely going to be that emotion factor missing once again from the ai if it was more so the ai was like sorting out like charts or doing like the digital work behind it and you needed the answer quick instead of going to like a, a textbook then yeah you could use it in that way but as for treating patients i would say no you know what, Elon Musk is warning people to sort of, you know, hold off on the AI because it's going to get out of hand where we cannot control it. Do you think that will ever happen? I think so. There's many movies based on it as well where a lot of like, robots have gone out of hand. They, it gets to a point where I know a lot of... Um, Manufacture, people who manufacture uh, manufacture that IT or do that type of work, they they use coding so the robot goes a bit outside. So they basically like, um, what's the word? They better themselves. So they know one thing, then they'll better themselves to improve on that one thing. So I feel like it will get to that point where they wouldn't better themselves to a point where they're better, way better than us, and it would go wrong. And then, yeah. So you see, some people are worried about their jobs. Do you think that just hearing about you know the capabilities of AI, should people really be worried about AI taking over their jobs? I I do feel like people should be worried because, as I previously mentioned, with AI everything is programmed, everything is digital, and if there is a program set for the AI to do something it will more than likely complete the task quicker, better, more precisely than a person could. And that's just the fact, because this robot is programmed, created, manufactured just to do this specific job. And also they do whatever is programmed into their system anyway. So I do think that people will see companies in particular will see a lot of benefits from having AI technology instead of human 
laborers. So I do, I do feel like people should be worried because there's definitely that aspect of cutting costs, and a lot of companies will opt for that, of course, and it makes sense at the same time. I think a lot of people would lose their jobs, and it's already starts starting to happen, and it's not really helping the whole situation of uh, costs of living rising and everything that's going on in the world. So there is a certain aspect where people should be worried. I feel. And with the cost of living as well, um, I feel like now, I say now to like five years time, they, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, it wouldn't increase to the fact where it will take a major amount of people's jobs because with the economy is very, very low at the moment and people are, can't afford to live as it is now. So I think taking away more people's jobs and really businesses are already cutting back on employees and trying to cut costs on it. And AI is cheaper. It's expensive in the beginning, but then over time it gets cheaper because it's just really and truly just updating it rather than um, having to pay every single month or week. And there you have it. So what do you think, Destiny family? Do people have reason to worry? Should we really be worried or should we just go with the flow? Thank you for watching this video. Do remember to subscribe. Do remember to share. Do remember to like. Thank you for watching this video. Until I upload another video, my Destiny family, take care of yourselves. Love yourself. One love.